So friends, let's make this delicious instant dosa today. So here I've washed about one cup of whole moong and I'm going to soak it in three cups of water for three to four hours. I get about six to seven dosas with this quantity. We will also need half an inch of ginger, two light green chilies that I've cut fine, one medium sized onion chopped fine, one teaspoon of jeera seeds or cumin seeds, salt to taste, I use Himalayan pink salt, half a teaspoon of fenugreek or methi seeds, half a teaspoon of hing or asafoetida and half a cup of coriander. Now after three to four hours, I've drained all the water from the moog and I'm going to add it to my mixer jar. Then I'm going to add all of the other ingredients one by one, that is the chilies, the ginger, the onion, the coriander the cumin seeds, the jeera, that is, the methi seeds, the salt to taste and the asafoetida. And then I'm adding just a little water, about a quarter cup of, a wa of water and we're going to grind this to a very smooth paste. It should have the same consistency as a dosa or a ghavan. If you feel like you can add a little more water, to get the right consistency. Now here I've really heated up my heavy bottomed iron pan for at least 10 to 15 minutes till it's piping hot. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of water and then wipe it clean with a clean kitchen towel. This way the dosa will not stick to the pan. So ensure that it's really heated up well. And then you're just going to pour about two to three, uh, you know, teaspoons or spoons full of this batter and then spread it out as much as you can, like you would with a tosa. The thinner, the better. It becomes more crispy that way. And also ensure that you fill in up all the gaps with the batter. What happens is if you, there are some gaps, then the dosa tends to break or you won't get an entire dosa. So just ensure that, you know, put a little bit of batter and spread it out. And now we're just going to drizzle a few drops of desi ghee or clarified butter or toop as you say. And we're going to let this really crisp up. So when you see the sides of the dosa browning up a little, just take your spatula or ulatna and just loosen up the dosa completely. Do it very gently so it doesn't break. And once you're confident enough that it's completely loosened up, just turn it onto the other side. And we're going to cook the other side also on a low to medium flame till it's lovely and nice and crispy. So just press it down. Let it cook on this hot tawa with the toop and except uh, with the toop, uh, you know, or, or the ghee in it. And once it's nice and crispy, then we're going to take it out in a plate. So since our pan is already nice and piping hot, you don't need to put the water and everything again. And then you just make the rest of the dosas in the same manner. This is a very simple recipe. It has very few ingredients and you don't need to soak anything overnight. Plus there's no rice. So for people who want to avoid rice because of diabetes or sugar, this is a very good idea. And plus it gets ready also so quickly. So it's a great tiffin item or a great breakfast item or a late dinner uh, recipe. So once it is nice and crisp, you can just take it and serve it with your favorite chutney. See how thin it is. And it's such a healthy recipe. So you can serve this with your favorite sambar or chutney. I'll leave a link to all my recipes of chutneys and sambar in the description box and the comment section below. And today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever i put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same 
So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.